What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in this short series, we're going to take a little step away from coins and we're going to go and look at some banknotes. And I do appreciate this probably won't be for everyone, so yeah, appreciate you coming and having a look, even if notes aren't really your thing, but I'm sure there'll be something you like here, so stick around and have a look. Um, and we're going to start off with some current um, sterling which is legal tender now. And the first one is uh, Royal Bank of Scotland, £5. Do need to pick up better examples of a lot of these ones, to be honest, the current ones, but it's just the best I could get my hands on at the minute. You see the two mackerel there, which apparently is the most valuable valuable fish for the uh, Scottish fishing market and there's Nan Shepherd famous Scottish author most well known for I think it's the living mountain which is her story about her life um, with the Cairngorm mountains in and around the Cairngorm mountains next up we've got a 10 pound note and this is Bank of Scotland, which is different to the Royal Bank of Scotland. And then we've got Sir Walter Scott. Again, another no novelist. Famously campaigned, actually, for Scotland to keep printing their own banknotes back in the 1800s, which they're still doing now, so it was obviously successful. And there we've got the Glenfinnan Viaduct on the other side, built between 1897 and 1901. And that crosses the River Finnan. Um, and we've got some more Scottish. This is Clydesdale Bank, though, this one. £5 note. Shame we didn't get a few more fives on the serial number there. Would be cool. And we've got Sir William Arrell there. Civil engineer. Civil engineer, even. And bridge builder. And his company has built the fourth bridge. That you can see there. So yeah, pretty cool. But again, I need need a better example, really. Though I do like the serial number. Although another three fives wouldn't go amiss, would it? Eh? <laughs> so it's going to be a bit of a squeeze on camera. So we're going to have to stack these, aren't we? So we've got a few to get through. After these, um, Robert Burns there. After these um, current ones. We've got some old UK stuff, some territories, and then a couple of Commonwealth, if we've got time, we'll show them as well. And the old and new towns of Edinburgh on the other side. And yeah, Robert Burns obviously has a two pound coin um, in commemoration of him as well. And then we've got a couple of notes from Northern Ireland, and these aren't quite so creative, I do have to say, in the designs, they're both pretty similar. Um, and the other sides are virtually identical as well, both showing the old Bushmills distillery there, but still pretty cool coins. I do like the um, the design this side, particularly very old fashioned, but some variation wouldn't go amiss in my opinion. But yeah, it's still cool. Um, and then we get on to the older stuff. I've got this lovely one pound note. Check out the serial number, A01. Not bad at all. And this is the first note from um, part of a collection I bought. Such a shame it's got that crease. Sir Isaac Newton there, obviously. Master of the Mint. Has his own 50 pence as well. Probably most famous for um, Gravity, I guess. And what else was he involved in? Uh, the Laws of Motion, yeah. So yeah, AO1, not bad at all. As I said, shame about that, that crease there, but it does take the value down a, a touch, but still a lovely note. I do have a, another one of these. And this one I actually bought before I got the AO1 one, otherwise I probably wouldn't have bought it, if I'm honest. And this I bought off of Christopher Kellex's website, because he's selling them on there. 
I think they're only like two quid each, so. Yeah, grabbed one of those from there. Then we got another AO1. And this is the old five pound note. I think this is uh, Series E. Can you just see there? Maybe just about make it out. This ran from 1990 till 2002, this one. And you can see George Stevenson, Stevenson's Rocket, which famously won the uh, Rainhill Trials in 1829, ran by Liverpool and Manchester Railway. Uh, yeah, lovely, lovely thing. AO1 as well on that one. Uh, shame this isn't an AO1, but then we have the, the five pound note from before that one. So this is the Series D, ran from 1971 through to 1990. And you see the Duke of Wellington there, Arthur Wellesley, twice Prime Minister, but probably most famous for defeating Napoleon in the Battle of Waterloo, of course. But yeah, lovely note, I think, that one. Do love that one. In very nice condition. Part of that collection I bought um, from a family member that they inherited. Now we've just got a modern tenor. And the only reason this is in it is the serial number continuing the trend, AA01. A bit creased and not really worth anything much right now, but in the future maybe it will rise like the other AA1s. Then we got another old pound going back even further. Oh yeah, and obviously, just quickly back on here, obviously that's Jane Austen, who again has a, a £2 coin. It's a shame that didn't go into circulation, isn't it? And Jane Austen, most famous for Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, Emma. Yeah, another £1 note there, Series C, and I believe the first note with the monarch on the, the first £1 note with the monarch on. Yeah, the other sides were a lot more plain then. Look at all that blank space. You wouldn't get that now, would you? Super cool though. And then we have the 10 shillings. It's partner in crime. And this obviously was replaced by our beloved 50 pence. And this ran from 1961 to 1969 when it was replaced by the 50 P's in the first step of decimalization so yeah pretty cool then we've got a bank of scotland bit rough this one i've had this for a while and this is a 1987 one you see the date there look yeah what's on the back of this edinburgh castle isn't it yeah so we've got that one is slightly rougher shape and then we've got a slightly newer one 1999 this was a gift from darren actually from caledonian coins so if you've seen the other videos you would have seen this note before but yeah again edinburgh castle and um, slightly newer than the other one 1999 very cool and that was royal bank of scotland now this is bank of scotland and this is another one i love super cool and this was part of that collection again that i brought and looks in lovely condition but you turn it over and you do see a more creases and stuff you know I know it's harder to see in this sleeve but I don't want to take them all in and out to be honest but yeah I love that super cool and then we move on to territories this is Jersey obviously the one pound so colorful I love that St. Helier Parish Church there, which I'm sure probably appears on a, a coin as well. I don't know though, should have looked that up. Yeah, I love that one. And we've got another Jersey one. Um, and on the other side of this one, we've got the Battle of Jersey, the death of Major Pearson after John Singleton Copley. Yeah, cool battle scene there. But again, a lovely note, I think. 
And we've got Guernsey, which doesn't actually have the Queen on. On the other side of this one, we have a Daniel Delisle Brock, Bailiff of Guernsey. 1762 to 1842. So, good innings, especially for uh, back then, got to be said. Then we've got Isle of Man, which is a bit rough. But we will hopefully improve this at some point, but they, these are pretty pricey, these ones in good grade. Um, and I wouldn't have paid much for this at all. Maybe we'd have come in a group a lot, maybe. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the stains there does spoil it quite a bit, but see the colours there, see the potential that has in uh, uncirculated condition, lovely note. And on the other side on this one we see Tynewald Hill, which is actually believed to um, hold the longest continuous run in Parliament in the world. I don't know if that's true, that's something I read. Um, once annually on the 5th of July, um, the Tynewald Parliament meets here at Tynewald Hill. And that started over a thousand years ago. Um, the Norse Vikings started that tradition. Apparently the hill itself was built in the 13th century. And here we have British Armed Forces 10 pence. Um, you do see these quite a lot, and the reason for that is when they stopped using these in 1979, um, they just auctioned them off. They didn't actually auction them off till 1991, but the 17 million uncirculated notes, not all of this denomination, but um, various denominations were all auctioned off. So even though it says you, you can't own it, um, once they stopped being used in Berlin in 1979, I think it's okay to own them now. So it's memorabilia. Yeah, another really rough one, this, writing all over it. Someone's dropped a chocolate bar on it. Well, that's what you like to hope it is. Um, but yeah, this is the first of the Commonwealth notes. We've just got a few more here. You see the police band, pretty awesome, but as I said, very, very rough shape. I do like that um, portrait though. And then we've got Fiji. I'll be honest, all these Commonwealth ones are a bit ropey, but super cool note, that one again. Awesome market scene in the harbour. Yeah, my daughter loves Fiji, and that's the favorite, her favourite place to get coins and notes from, so we always pick them up when we see them. And then we've got New Zealand, which again has got a nasty little ink stain on it. Um, Interesting serial number on this one. Any Amy's out there? And you see the fantail bird there. Again, spoiled by that ink, which has come right through the note. And then, finally, we've got this interesting little one from Hong Kong. And it's a one cent. Then it says, These notes are legal tender for the payment of any amount not exceeding one dollar. So it's a one cent note, but you can pay for things that cost a dollar. I don't know. And there's obviously no serial number on it. There's no nothing on the other side. So yeah, it's a bit of an oddball one, this. And obviously this is when um, Hong Kong was still a crown colony. Back from when, well, the British have been on Hong Kong since 1841, when they used it as a military staging point in the war against China. And obviously in 1997, Hong Kong became a special administrative region of China. Um, so yeah, obviously there's a lot going on in Hong Kong now, right now, so it's very current. But yeah, there's our notes from the UK territories and a few Commonwealth bits there. So we'll do a few more videos, maybe next week or ten in a 10 days or something. So there's only going to be another maybe three videos we'll do. Um, maybe Africa and Asia together so I don't have many from either of those and then we can do Europe and we'll do North America the Caribbean and South America all that together as well so yeah if you enjoyed it come and uh, 
see the rest of the banknote um, videos in the future. And if banknotes aren't really a thing, or coins are your thing as well, and banknotes is the first time you've seen us, come and watch some of the coin videos. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope you liked them. Can you pick a favourite? I think mine... This has got to be up there for me. Absolutely stunning. But yeah, come and see us again, guys. Leave us a comment. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. All that stuff. Thanks a lot. See ya.